What's up guys, this is Flame Victini and this time I'm on Smog Tours for an SPL game. We've got Blunder vs. Tsung, a series I was definitely very excited for, and both of them have brought straight out offense. So they're playing this game really really quickly, but basically Diancy was able to Mega Evolve and switch down into Volcarona on the Breloom's Bullet Seed and Fire Blasted that Volk um, Breloom down to the Sash as Breloom killed off the Volcarona with a Rock Tomb. Um, earlier on, something else, the Garchomp took a bit of damage from U-Turn as the Diancy came in, so th that's why um, now the Jirachi is a little bit weaker from the Mach Punch damage and the damage from the Garchomp's Rough Skin, but the Garchomp is now slightly damaged, it's around 80%, 80 and Blunder has got his Diancy Mega Evolved. So now, now that this is done, we can look at the team matchup, so looking at the team matchup, Metagross seems like a pretty major threat on Tsung's end. Blunder doesn't really have a ton for it. Uh, if he, he only has really Sash Loom if it is Sash and uh, Lando T, which isn't really the greatest check because um, it will get it will have clear body the turn before a Mega like when a Mega falls, so that'll all have let it hit the Lando T a bit harder. And um, Hoopa also seems like a major thrower. Well, Koopa gets few opportunities, but if the Hoopa comes in on the Latios and oh wow, so Blunder actually goes to his Diancy. I guess trying to keep out Diancy is a big threat on Blunder's end because it kind of beats the Garch. This the Magikarp is the only thing that beats the Diancy. So Rocky Helmet um, Land of T would be pretty good for Blunder here, and I'm assuming his Drachi has Will O Wisp. Uh, sorry, Healing Wish, which you'd have to use really well. Sorry about that guys, but Blunder actually makes a very nice play by protecting on the Meter Mash. This way the Metagross is already Mega Evolved, and it won't be able to utilize the clear body as a sweet line of T switches in, which means that Meter Mash is doing two-thirds of the damage it would have been doing if Blunder didn't go for that Protect. And we do see that it is a Rocky Helmet line of T, which is really really good for Blunder. Now right here, if I was Blunder, um, I could go for the Stealth- you could go for the Stealth Rocks, it's not very risky. But uh, you could also go for the U-turn as Blunder actually goes for the Earthquake. I guess that was also a mid-round because you didn't want the uh, Garchomp was coming in. And what I was thinking actually was to double to Diancy, just not risk going for U-turn and taking damage with Garchomp, uh, taking damage on the Garchomp. While because Tsung is definitely going to switch out his Metagross, so that way you still get the Diancy in, which is really good for you. And Latias kind of soft checks the Diancy depending on whether it's HP Fire or not. And, um, I mean, with the Diancy's HP fire or not, because otherwise if it's not, then it's a speed tie. Unless this Latias itself is HP fire, but I'm expecting it to be dual stab, default healing wish. So now that the Latias is in on this land of T, it's a bit of a toss-up between Draco Meteor and Psyshock. Psyshock is a bit more risky, especially if Blunder chooses to stay in, which he definitely won't, because he needs this around for the Metagross. But, um... He actually, Tassan actually pulls a double into his Metagross as Blunder brings in his own Latios. I guess that's, he is kind of saying that Latios isn't really that super great. And actually, oh my goodness, that's actually huge. That's so bad for Blunder. That's actually really, really huge because that Draco Meteor damage put that Metagross much, much lower. Well, it wouldn't do a ton, but it would put it in range of Diancy much more easily. And I guess we'll see right here if the Metagross is Bullet Punch, which it is not. So yeah, that Draco Meteor miss was really, really unfortunate for Blunder. Like, that was pretty unlucky, I have to say. But um, Blunder actually chooses to go to Jirachi. I'm not sure how much I agree with this, because if you're gonna... Yeah, he goes for the U-turn. I mean, if Tsung brought in his Garchomp, you're gonna bring in your Diancy there. And then Tsung can just sack his Hoopa to the Diancy and then bring in the Metagross, so it's like basically the same thing. And Blunder's, man, that Draco Meter miss was so big. I mean, Latios would have been dead, but the de getting the damage on the Hoopa just wasn't as important as it was to hit that um, Metagross. And Blunder actually reveals the HP fire right there, which means that the Latios is also kind of checking this Diancy. And in comes the Metagross. Man, if this Metagross had been hit by that Draco Meteor, it would have done a solid at least 30%, I think. And perhaps even more as, oh my goodness. So I think Blunder might just lose this game from the insane hacks <laughs> that Tsung has gotten on with his Metagross. So first he dodges that Draco Meteor, now he crits the Lando T through Intimidate and KOs it. 
and at this point I see no way for Blunder to win, because now the Metagross is really really just staying alive, and <laughs> Lando T is gone, Blunder only has 3 Mons, I don't know if there's any way he can pull this out, um, Blunder is supposedly gonna go for the U-turn right here, and he's kinda not worrying about that damage from the Garchomp on the Rocky. Oh, he actually goes for the Iron Head. Wow, so uh, I'm curious to see whether Chisung would choose to stay in and try to not get flinched or just go to Talonflame. But it looks like Blunder's goal is to luck, is Blunder's choice is to um, luck his way through, and the Talonflame can obviously beat this Jirachi, but Blunder does have the Diancie. So, I don't know if Tsung would pull a double to Metagross right here, because Iron Head is doing like nothing to the Metagross. And, yeah, Iron Head is like doing nothing to the Metagross. So even if Blunder stays into Iron Head again predicting the double, it, it's not going to be horrible for Tsung, even though it won't be as optimal. And the Diancie is very, very obvious from Blunder's end. And I feel like Blunder won't just go straight to Diancie. If that's Sash Loom, I, 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 even if it's not Sash Loom, maybe. Oh, he does actually stay in. And Tsung just goes for the Brave Bird, which is just, it just works out for him really well. So, Blunder goes into his Diancie on the Talonflame, and as the Talonflame goes for another Brave Bird, it actually gets a, has a Ganlon Berry, gets that defense boost, but the Ganlon Berry, very, very cool set, I guess, um, because Blunder likes to use Garchomp or kind of key, I don't know, but um, it basically gives you Natural Gift Ice, which is what this Talonflame is, but yeah. The Diancie goes for the HP Fire to just kill off this Talonflame as it, as the Metagross comes back in, and I think Blunder might have to go for a Misses or something at this point, like hoping for like Meteor. Oh my goodness, there it is! There's a Meteor Mash miss, and yeah, the, the fact that this Diancie is HP Fire rather than Earth Power is really unsettling because missing because having these speed ties against these base 110s is like much better than just being outsped by Metagross and Latias and stuff, but the Kazung does hit the second Meteor Mash, which is going to take out the Diancie pretty easily, and um, I mean, Blunder can still luck his way through with um, Jirachi, that's the thing. I don't know, I don't know if I agree with Tsung just throwing away his Talonflame, unless, I mean, Tsung, it's not that easy because, I mean, if Tsung gets off a Healing Wish, with this Latias, then he has a much better chance of beating the Jirachi. But the fact, like, now this Jirachi does actually- I will actually- No. It has to get a crit on the Garchomp. Uh, I think it has to- Ugh. Cause Blunder doesn't have Hazard on his side, so he can't, like, pull doubles predicting the Garchomp. And, um, I mean, this Breloom is a threat, especially if it's Sash Breloom. If this is Sash Breloom, we can put in a lot of work. Now the thing is, if he crits the Garchomp, that way he won't die. Um, cause then he'll KO it in one hit, and then he'll have 10% health left, he won't die to two rough skin damages if he gets a crit on that Garchomp, otherwise, if he doesn't, yeah, now, now that you turn damage is starting, oh my, I'm not sure I agree with that one, uh, I, I think I know what Tsung is trying to do, he wants to Healing Wish to his Metagross, but, I think keeping, I, I guess it also accounts for the fact that Blunder could have gone for the Spore, so he didn't want to go straight into his Latias, which is definitely understandable. So I guess this is a... I mean, if Blunder can go for the Swords Dance here, because the Healing Wish is 100% going to happen, and if it doesn't happen, it's in Blunder's favor, to be honest. So Blunder should definitely go for the Swords Dance right here, predicting that Healing Wish. If Tsung doesn't go for the Healing Wish and just kills his Breloom, the Jirachi comes in, and if it flinches, it wins. So Tsung definitely has to try to, get, try to win with Metagross, I think, is the play right here by healing wishing it up, but if Blunder goes for the Swords Dance, his Mach Punch will do twice as much, and if it, then that, that puts the Metagross much lower, perhaps around 50% health, which is much more manageable. No, he actually goes for the Mach Punch? I, I'm not sure I understand that, uh, that doesn't make much sense to me at all, and yeah, look at that damage, 37%? If he, he, I guess he didn't have Swords Dance, otherwise he would have gone for it, but um, I don't know why Chisung is like, hey, he, maybe he was like, oh, there's a crit, is there a flinch? There is a flinch! Oh, is there a flinch, is there a flinch, is there a flinch? Oh my god, there's another flinch, one more, and this is the game. One more. There it is! Oh my goodness. So, Blunder, 
is had a really really stark opening. This game was incredibly haxy, but Blunder gets the flinches at the very end. I think he should have gone for the sword stance at the end, and it would have been a little more secure. He wouldn't need to have needed so many flinches, but the Jirachi does what it's going to do. Gets those flinches and beats a Metagross. My goodness. That was amazing. So this game was really, really haxy but and really offensive, but to Sung, the the favored, the favored or SOU player, I think he was pretty expensive this SPL as actually leading off 01. And when everyone predicted against Blunder, they're like, oh Blunder's like number 19 or number 20 on the power rankings. He just straight up beat Tsung. I mean it was haxy, but you have to consider the fact that Tsung did luck uh, Blunder earlier on with the Metagross and uh, missing the Draco Meteor and uh, missing uh, getting that crit, uh, crit, which was really, really big. And if that didn't happen, Diancie might have just straight up won against Tsung. So that was also a really huge thing to consider. And um, I guess that's the game. It was a pretty quick one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please uh, leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out my Twitter where I'll post stuff like videos, updates, and also other things like maybe teams or just other fun stuff. So yeah, that's it. See you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.